Hello, hello, Carlos. Hello, William. Hello, guys. How is it going? Uh, hello, good evening. Good evening. Uh, good evening, William. Thank you. And Carlos, uh, good night. You're leaving? Uh, good evening. Yes. Good night is when we finish. Cuando terminamos is goodbye. Haha, ha, okay, but you remember that. Se acordó, you remember. Nice. Great. Okay, pretty good, guys. Um, today we have normal class uh, because yesterday was, was holiday. Okay, that's why. But normally, oh, you are sick of your throat. Okay. Okay, no problem. But you can participate using the chat, no problem. Okay. Uh, perfect, perfect. As I was saying, uh, because of yesterday was holiday, today we have normal class. Okay, very good. Let's see, William, uh, how is it going? Did you did you rest last night and yesterday during the holiday, William? Mm. Today, today I went to the supermarket and on the afternoon uh, I eat, como se dice, comida típica, <laughs> I eat papay, papitas, <laughs> no papitas, I eat French, French, no, 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 French, no. French fries, yes. French fries. Or and, simply fries, or simplemente fries. Fries, okay. And in and, and I eat dinner and I'm and I am here in, in the new English class. I'm ready for for to learn. Okay. Ready only one. to learn. Ready to ready learn. to learn. To learn. Okay. Great. That's great. Perfect. Perfect. As well as Carlos. Okay, nice guys. Let's see. Um I don't know where the others are, but we're going to begin with the class. We're going to check the topic that we are going to practice today. It's, it's a nice activity, the one that we have for this class. Okay, let me share, let me share the screen with you. Okay, you see it? Can you confirm that you see the, the screen? Let's see the chat. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Yes, yes. Okay. What is this animal? Do you know the name of this? This is an animal. Weird, but it's an animal. Raro, pero es animal. What's the name? Hmm? Do you know the name? No. Medusa. Ah, Medusa, but in English. <laughs> I mean, in I English. Don't, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to show you in a moment. I'm just opening the document so I can show you the grammar, the grammar word. Okay, today is, uh, tell me the date, William, please. The date, the correct date for today. Today is Friday, Friday, November. November. November 3. 3. Third, correct. Correct. Very good. Why third and not three? Why third and not three? Por qué third and not three? Mm, porque es primero, segundo, tercero. Calendar dates. Calendar. Correct. Or we say, o decimos, uh, ordinal names. This is an ordinal name coming from order, que oh. viene de orden. First, second, Third, and we use them in calendar, in other things, but mainly in calendar, yes. Ordinal number. The cardinal numbers are one, two, three, four, the normal numbers. But this one, yes, that's why, por eso. Okay, pretty good. Nice, nice. Okay, ah, yeah, the, the name of this animal. It is a jelly, jellyfish, I guess. Jellyfish. Oh, the spelling. 
Ah, okay, with J, not with Y. It is a jellyfish. A jellyfish. Uh, let me see the definition for a jellyfish. What is the definition? A sea, a sea creature with a soft, oval, almost transparent body. Correct body. A sea creature transparent body uh -huh, with a soft, oval, almost transparent body. Okay. Very good. That is the definition for jellyfish. Okay, pretty good. Nice, nice. Okay. Let's see. Uh, only. Ah, there is Jency. Hello, Jency. Hello, hello. Hi, good evening. Hey, good evening. Nice that you are joined uh, to the class. Pretty good. Where were you a moment ago? Donde estabas un momento? <laughs> Uh -huh. Where yeah. were you? ¿Dónde estaba? Where were you? Simple past. Today we're going to check simple past. Hoy vamos a revisar simple past. I was Correct. in my house. I was in my house. Okay, pretty good. Okay, nice. Nice, nice. Okay, welcome. Welcome, Jensi. Pretty good. Okay, let me open uh, the... I know the presentation is already open. Just abierto. Let's check. Inter pre intermediate module two. Okay, Jane C. Uh, help me with the reading about this, please. Okay. Verb to be simple pass. Who was this famous character? Okay. Famous. Let's repeat famous. Famous. Who was this famous? Who was this famous character? Character. Character. Okay. Yes, it, with, it sounds with the letter K. Suena como con la letra K. K. Character. K. Character. character. Correct. Character. Okay. He? He was Mozart. And who was Mozart, uh, William? William? Who was Mozart? He was a classical music composer. 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 Yes, composer. Okay, let's open this link and we are going to check this information about Mozart. Have you have you heard music, uh, Mozart's music? Have you heard? ¿Ha escuchado? Yes. Yes? Like it? Beautiful, yeah. right? It's relaxed. Ah, it's relaxed. Ah, quiere decir que relaja, relajante. Yes. Ah, ok. Si queremos usar relajante con cosas, we say, decimos, ah, music, Mozart's. Can you read it? ¿Lo puede leer? Yes. Mozart is relaxing. Oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me correct. Relax. Yes. Most of music is relaxing. Relaxing. Yes. Lo que pasa es que sometimes uh, the adjectives, we have three, three types of adjectives, but this is one. Adjectives that end in ing, los que terminan en ing. Relaxing, boring, entertaining, etc. But you use them for things. Los usa para cosas. And example? The example is? Music. Music, yes. yes. Ajá. Pero what about if I say, y si digo, me siento relajado? How do I say? ¿Cómo mm, digo? I feel. I feel, correct. Relaxed. I, relaxed. Relaxed, correct. So, in this case, we use the adjective, but ending in ed. Voy a usar el que termina en ed. Ed. For me. For my feelings. Then, about me. 
acerca de mí. But about things, pero acerca de las cosas. Adjectives with. Hmm? ING. ING, correct. Ok, got it, got that. ¿Se entiende eso? Got it. Ajá. Entonces dijo que cuando es para cosas se utiliza ING al final. Ajá. Y para uno mismo o una persona el ED. Correct. When you Quiero express decir, me what siento you aburrido. Mean? Ah, ok. Si decir, me siento aburrido, diría I feel bored. 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 D. With bored. Bored. Pronunciation. Ok, that's uh, a point. Es un puntito ahí. Bored. D. Bored. bored. Uh, ¿Estaba aburrido ayer? ¿Cómo digo? In English, how do I say that? Uh, yesterday I was bored. Or I was bored. Yes. Or right. I was just bored. Pretty good. Okay. Nice. Yes. That's it. Así es. Okay. But that is with practice. No. No problem. Okay. Uh, Jensi, what what was Mozart's complete name? Jensi. Hey, Jensi left. Se fue. <laughs> Okay. Ah, Gabriel, there you are. Hello, Gabriel. Welcome. Welcome to the class. We are talking about Mozart. Do yes. you know Mozart? Sorry, teacher. Um, no problem. I, I hear something about that, about King. Ah, okay. What have you heard about Mozart? Well, um, about the beautiful uh, uh, Mozartia music that grew up okay correct okay yeah you're right he wrote beautiful music that's it okay what was Mozart's complete name can you read it Wolf Wolfgang it's kind of difficult to pronounce Wolf Wolfgang okay. Amadeus Amadeus Mozart. Mozart. Okay, pretty good. Let's do a couple of, re okay, some reading in this part. The purpose is that you practice your reading if you can check the simple past of the verb to be. Okay, uh, begin please with this paragraph. Um, Gabriel, read this paragraph, please. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Uh, 1766 uh, to 1791 was one of the most influential. Um, let Popular. me move. Popular. Uh, let me move the. All right. You're going in this part, Baki. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A popular and prolific, prolific um, composer of the classical period, he composed over um, 600 words, including some of the most famous and love pieces of symphony. Chamber of para Operatic, and chloral music. Chloral music. Okay, until this point. Very good. A uh, simple past of the verb to be in the paragraph. Um, what? Was of the most influential? Ah, in this part, right? Was. Correct, because it's simple past. Okay, continue, Jensi. Uh, from this, this part until this part. Mozart was born in Salzburg to a musical family. From an early age, the young Mozart showed all the signs, signs, signs. of signs, all the signs of a prodigious musical. Talent. 
by the edge of five he called he real and white music and the world entertain people which he talent or on the paper by the age of six he was writing his first composition finish, finish. Mozart was generally consider, um, considered is considered considered to be a rare, rare musical genius. Genius. Imagine genius. Genius. Okay. Though, genius. Though. So Mozart say that he was diligent in studying other great compu composers. Composer. Composer. Such, such as, as Haydn and Bach. And back. 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 He, he was back. another a famous composer. Back. Okay. What was the age? What was the age in which uh, Mozart he could he could write music at the age of at the age six. of six, six years six. old, and he was already a genius. 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 That's amazing for for any musician of that time. There's a tempo. Imagine six six years old, musician, genius. Wow, incredible. Okay, let's see. Uh, he's he you here. You have the picture. How Mozart was. Okay, check. There it is. Okay, let's see. Uh, continue with the paragraph. Uh, Joel, Joel, Joel. Hello. Hello, hello. We are reading about Mozart. Mozart. Borgaf Amadeus Mozart was born on January 57. 17. 17. 17. 5, 56. 56. In Salzburg, Salzburg, Austria. Austria, yes. His father. His father. Mozart. Leopold Mozart. A noted composer, instructor. And. And the author of famous writing, writings. Como? Writings. Br writing. Correct. Um, violin. violin. Violin playing. Playing. Was. The, was the seven. In. In. Service. service of, of the. the Arc. B shop. R B shop of Salzburg. Okay, until there. Hasta ahí. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, if you want to practice your listening, you can do what I showed you. Puede ser lo que le mostré. You remember in in word? What did I do? Lo que hice. Remember? No. Did I show you? Le mostré. What you can do in Word? Lo que se puede hacer en Word? Did I? Yes. 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 Ah, you copy a text, right? Copy page. <laughs> ah, copy and paste. Next, select Control, control a. a. Correct, Control a. a. And on this tab, you click on it. And you click on Read aloud. 
Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, 1756-1791, was one of the most influential, popular and prolific composers of the classical period. He composed over 600 works, including some of the most famous and loved pieces of symphonic, chamber, operatic, and choral music. Mozart was born in Salzburg to a musical family. From an early age, the young Mozart showed all the signs of a prodigious musical talent. By the age of five he could read and write music, and he would entertain people with his talents on the keyboard. By the age of six he was writing his first compositions. Mozart was generally considered to be a rare musical genius, though Mozart said that he was diligent in studying other great composers such as Haydn and Bach. Okay, see? If you want to practice a pronunciation of the words, you can do this. It's pretty cool. And then you can read by yourself. Puede después leer. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. That is what you can do in, in, in word. It's pretty cool. Okay. All right. Perfect. Perfect. That was uh, a part of the class. But the other part is this one. Let me show you the other part. Where to be? Simple past. Past. Yes. Yeah, simple past. This is pretty, pretty, uh, Kind of, how can I say, this is pretty clear in this part. The indication is organize. Organize the subjects according with the correct simple parts of to be. Of to be. It's already organized. We are going to say in affirmative, I was. I. I. In affirmative, I was. I was. I, I was. Next. He was. He was in affirmative. Don't forget, this is affirmative. I yeah. was. He, he was. He was. He she, was. Was. She was. And it was. It was. Okay. No more subjects. No more. Only those four. Ooh. Okay. In plural, this is a. Uh, this is like first person and the third person in single. But the plural, affirmative. You were, you were, you were, you were, but you singular and you plural because we have two to you. Next, we were, we were, and they, they were, and they were. Okay, pretty good. In in negative, what is how is it? Was it? Was not. I was not. I wasn't. I was not. Or the contraction. Was it? Wasn't. Wasn't. I wasn't. Correct. He, he wasn't. He, he wasn't. wasn't. She wasn't. She wasn't. Negative. It was. He it wasn't. wasn't. Okay. Very good. Now the negative of this. You weren't. You weren't. You weren't. You weren't. You weren't. We weren't. We weren't. We weren't. Okay. Pronounce the letter T. We they weren't. weren't. And they, they weren't. They, they weren't. weren't. That's it. Pretty good. Now, the final part is the question. Question. Was I? Was, was I? I? Sounds weird. Suena raro, but it's, it's like that. Was I? Next. Was he? Was he? Was he? Was she? Was she? Was she? Was was it? Was it? Was it? Pretty good. Question? Who are you? Who are you? Mm -hmm. Who are you? Who are you? Where are we? Where are they? Where are they? And that's it. That is. Affirmative, negative, and the question with the verb to be in simple past. Nice. Nice, nice. You know, but we need kind of practice, okay, to dominate uh, at perfection on this. Let's see. The next practice, uh, what is the indication, uh, guys? 
Let's practice. Let's practice. Let's practice with activity, activity at the verb to be. To be in, in simple, simple past. past. Simple. In simple past. Simple. Correct. Simple past. Okay. This picture is about cacao. cacao. What is cacao? What's cacao? What is cacao? Uh huh. Chocolate. Ah, you think in chocolate, right? You are thinking in shock. What chocolate do you like eating? Guys, what is your favorite type of cacao or chocolate? What chocolate do you eat? Chocolate. What brand? What brand do you like? Talking about chocolate. What brand? Todo. Ah, all, all, of, all of it. Todo the cacao. Okay, tell me brands. Cacao brands. Uh huh. Chocolate brands. Tell me, guys, chocolate brands, do you know? Any chocolate brands? Yes. Which ones? Well, which ones? Mm. Mm -hmm. Chocolate brands. Think. Uh -huh. So that means that you don't eat too often. <laughs> no eat, no come, tan a menudo. Okay, nice. Okay, no problem. We have kisses. We have bonobon. Uh, I don't know. We have many, many. Which one? Sneaker. Ah, the sneakers, correct? Hershey. Sneaker. <laughs> sneaker, Hershey's, Popeye chocolate. Do you remember Popeye chocolate? Uh, yes, they were delicious with milk. Okay. This is a listening, guys. This is a listening exercise about chocolate. Chocolate. Okay, yes, Definitely. about chocolate. Let's do it. Uh, this is the picture. Check how a cacao is. All these things that you see is cacao. Check. But first, we are going to do this. Okay. Gen C, can you read this part, please? What do you know about chocolate? Learn about this history of chocolate and the interesting journey from cocoa, cocoa bean to chocolate bar. Do the preparation that first, then read the article. Article. Mm -hmm. Article and do the exercise okay but the first part is the preparation what is the preparation uh gabriel can you read the indication for this part match the words with the definitions okay we have to link the specific word with the specific definition for that word let's check okay let's check the words we have Mm -hmm. To ferment. To ferment. ferment. To cool. To cool. To cool. A, a shell. shell. A shell. To melt. Mm -hmm. To melt. Pulp. 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 It is not pulp. Pulpo. Pulp. No, it's pulpo, right? <laughs> a pulp. A, pulp. a, pulp. a pulp. To grind. To grind. A grind. To grind. Yeah. grind. What is what is grind? Grind. 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 This. Uh -huh. mm. What is that? Okay. Correct. Yes, to grind. And uh, to, to, heat. Heat. to heat. To heat. William, what is the first definition? It contains the cocoa beans. It contains, it the, contains cocoa beans. the cocoa beans. What is the word for this definition that says it contains the it cocoa contains beans inside? Cocoa beans. What do you think the word is? What is the correct word? Um, From um, all these ones that you see. Um, no matter um, if you are incorrect, don't worry. To ferment. Things the cocoa beans. 
In the picture, it contains, it is talking about these, 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 uh, I don't know, this protection, mm -hmm. let's say. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Mm -hmm. To ferment, to cool, a shell, to melt, pulp, pulp. Which one? Pulp. Pulp. Ah, okay, pulp. pulp. Okay, no problem. Uh, next, uh, Joel. Next. It, it is a skin on the, the beans. It is a skin. What is a skin? A skin. Uh -huh. What is a skin? What is skin? Como una piel, right? But yeah. no human. Not human skin. Mm -hmm. huh? It is a skin around. It's another protection that is protecting uh, the cocoa. Uh -huh. the, the cocoa beans. It is a skin around the beans. What do you think? What's the word? Uh -huh. Any? Any word? Guys, what do you think? A pod. A pod. Okay, no problem. A pod. Let's place it already there. Next. It. It protects the beans. It protects the beans. Ah, okay. It, it protects the beans. Next word. To cool? To, to cool. Uh, okay. To cool. No problem. Next. Next definition. To make something hot. To make something hot. Ah, when you are going to prepare a, a coffee, a cup of coffee, for example. What is the verb? To make to something hot. Correct. To heat. To heat. That's it. To heat. Next. Oh, to make something cold. To make something cold. Uh huh. Mm. What's the word? The opposite of heat. To cool. Correct. To cool, but cool, it is not in the correct place. To cool goes for this definition for this one this is the correct place okay uh next definition gabriel maybe uh -huh. to turn something solid into liquid to turn something solid into liquid liquid hmm. When you're going to prepare pancakes on the pan, after heating the pan, you add you add what? A piece of margarine. And the margarine or the butter. Mm -hmm. no. No. To, to grind. Ah, uh, but to grind is this. Ah, uh, right. Uh -huh. To melt. So, Ah, to melt. What is melt? Uh -huh. What is melt? Melt. Uh -huh. Let's see. Melt. Uh, let's see. Uh -huh. When the ice cream, when the ice cream melts. Cuando el helado, ¿qué? Correct. Melt is the verb. Melt is the retirse. Nice. Next definition. To, can you read it, uh, Jensi? Mm -hmm. To break something into very small pieces. pieces. To break something pieces. into very small pieces. Mm -hmm. So, that is... Mm -hmm. 
A shell. A shell. Mm. No. But this is a noun. Mm. When you see a shell, when you see a, that means a noun. When you see uh, two, probably is a verb. It's to grind. grind. To grind, correct. To grind. To grind, yes. To grind. When you see two in a word, probably is or is most likely a verb, not a noun. Mm. Yes. Okay. Finally. To cause a chemical change in plants. In plants. To cause a chemical, chemical, chemical change in plants. And that is to ferment. To ferment. ferment. Yes. What it happens with grapes uh, to prepare wine, for example. To ferment. Okay. So, but there is one is uh, one uh, one is empty. It let's place it. Beans. Just let's place it. Okay. It protects the beans. I shell. Okay. Let's complete it. -da 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 -da, finish. Oh, okay. Nice. It is correct. 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 Oh, but the score. The score is five out of eight. 63%. Okay, that means that three of them are incorrect ah, in this part. But guys, you can investigate about these specific words uh, related to uh, cacao. But now, let's listen because we have the listening, the listening part. Okay, just let me open the file. The file is already in this part. Okay. Uh, ready? Just listen and follow the reading about the paragraphs. Chocolate. What do you know about chocolate? Learn about the history of chocolate and the interesting journey from Cocoa Ben to Chocolate Bar. World Chocolate Day. Did you know that there's a World Chocolate Day? It takes place each year on 7th July. To celebrate it, read about the history of chocolate and the interesting journey from Cocoa Ben to Chocolate Bar. A Brief History of Chocolate Chocolate was first used as a drink over 3,500 years ago in Central America. It was very popular with the Mayans and the Aztecs, who mixed cocoa beans with vanilla or chili peppers. In fact, cocoa beans were so important to them that they were used as money. Cocoa was first grown in Ecuador, which was, for a long time, the world's number one producer of cocoa beans. It is still one of the top 10 producers of the beans, but nowadays more than 70% of cocoa beans come from West Africa. Cocoa beans. Cocoa beans come from cocoa trees. These trees grow in tropical forests around the world, from South America to Indonesia. The beans grow in colorful pots of red, yellow, and purple. Inside the pots are the beans. Each tree grows around 50 pots a year and each pod can contain between 20 and 60 bins. It takes around 100 bins to make 100 grams of chocolate. The pods are picked by hand to protect the trees. Preparing the bins. Once the pods are picked from the tree, they are opened and the bins are taken out. The bins need to go through a number of different processes before they are ready to be turned into chocolate. First, 
the bins and the pulp are placed in a special boxes where they slowly ferment for up to five days. Here the bins turn brown and start to develop their special flavor. They are then put out in the sun to dry for approximately 14 days. After this, they are roasted for about 15 minutes in preparation for the final stage when the bins are taken out of their shells. At the end of this process, we are left with the cocoa nibs, chocolate in its purest form and the basic ingredient for all chocolate products. From cocoa nibs to chocolate liquor. The first step is to grind the nibs by machine or between two large stones. This produces cocoa liquor a semi-solid paste. This is then cooked and mixed continuously for hours or even days until it is just right. This is also the stage at which other ingredients are added. Sugar, milk, various flavors. Interestingly, chocolate melts at 34 degrees centigrade. This is just below body temperature, which explains why it can be so sticky and messy, but also why it melts as soon as you put it in your mouth. From liquid to solid. At this point, the cocoa nibs are ready for the last stage in the journey. For the cocoa liquor to turn into solid chocolate, it needs to be heated and cooled and heated again until it forms a solid mass. And so, at last, the journey from bin to bar is complete. So, now you know all about ch how chocolate is made. You may want to celebrate the day by eating one of your favorite chocolate treats. Okay, that is the process how chocolate is made. Interesting, right? Did you know that? Did you know the whole process? No, I don't know the process. Ah, you didn't know in simple past. I didn't know the process. Okay, it's a long process, as you see. Let's see how much you could uh, you could read and pay the attention about the process. Okay, the first task, task number one, what is the indication? Put? Put, put the stage in the correct order. Put the stages in the correct order. Correct. Okay. If you remember from the reading and the listening, what is the first stage to prepare chocolate? What is the step number one that you do? Check. Taking the pulp from the trees. Ah, oh, okay. Taking, uh, where, ah, okay. Taking the pots from the trees. What is pot? What is what is a pot? Ideas? Pot is called vaina. Correct. Nice. Very good. Good guessing. Muy bien. Yes. Taking the pot from the trees. That's it. What is the next step? Uh, maybe, uh, let's see, Jensi or Joel, Carlos in the chat. Next step. Gabriel? Taking the beans from the pot. Taking the beans out, right? You have to take them out from the pot. That's it. Very good. That is the next stage. William. Next. Mm. Drying the beans in the sun. 
grinding the drying drying ah drying all right drying the beans in the, in sun. the sun okay no problem next roasting the beans ah, okay after drying you roast them mm -hmm. next Grinding the beans. Grinding. 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 Remember that the verb is to grind. So this grinding. Grinding. Grinding the beans. Grinding the beans. Mm. Okay, grinding. Grinding the beans. And finally, I think other ingredients. Other ingredients. Other ingredients. Other ingredients. Okay, pretty good. Let's see if you place them in the correct stages let's click on finish -da 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 -da. oh correct guys now is a complete 100 very good nice 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 okay that was stage one what about stage number two indication is choose, choose the answer. best answer choose the best answer that's it okay Gabriel, let's begin with you. Um, folks what? grow on the trees. Buds. Grow. Folks. All right. Okay. Next, Gen C. The trees. Brown in the tropics. Okay, number two. The trees grow in the tropics. All right. Okay. Well, uh, most cocoa beans are grown in Ecuador. Ecuador? Mm -hmm. Sure. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, next, guys, what is the next part? The beans are roasted for. Ah, it's mm. talking about the time. 14 days. 14 days. 14. Okay, all right. Uh, okay, this one. The purest form of chocolate is the cocoa. Liquor. liquor, liquor, liquor. You say you select liquor. Liquor. All right. Okay. And the final one. Chocolate turns to liquid at temperature. Oh, liquor. it's talking about the temperature. 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 Mm -hmm. What is the temperature in which chocolate melts? Mm. Uh -huh. Any any other guys? Any other option that you can consider? Maybe a Gen C? Well, or Gabriel? Very high. Very uh, high. A very high temperature. Okay, no problem. Okay, let's finish with this one. Ta -da -da -da. Let's see how good you did. Uh, oh, where is it? Oh, what happened? Total score is two. Ooh. Two out of six. Oh, oops. oops. <laughs> okay, no problem. What is... Let's see. Try again, no problem. Let's try again. Try to remember the options that you selected in the first attempt. Okay, number one. Pots, pots, pots. Okay, the pots grow on the trees. Okay, if you if you can read it complete. Next, next. Trees grow in the tropics. All right, you said in the tropics. Okay, next. 
Moscow Club Beans. West 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 Africa. Sure. But first you said Ecuador. At the beginning come from Ecuador. Ah, okay, but we can select it, no problem. At the second time, we are gonna check individually. Next. The beans. Five days. Okay, five days. Uh, the, in the first attempt, you said 14 days. Yeah. But this one is, you say that is five. Okay. And this one. You said liquor. Would you like to change it? Or you Pass. keep it? Pass. 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 Paste. 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 Okay. Paste. And finally. A very slow. A very low. Very low. Okay, let's click on finish. This time, how much is how much? How was the score? -da 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 -da. Oh, the score is the same score. What <laughs> going on? <laughs> no, guys, you have to repeat the, the activity by yourself. Okay, let's check. Let's check. No problem. This one show uh -huh. answers. Remember, Aaron very high. Around body. It around was body. era around, around body, body because body. in the reading, in the reading said says in the reading says ah blah 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 blah. blah, blah. Interestingly, chocolate melts at thirty four. I have read, read guys, practice the, the vocabulary. Chocolate melt. Chocolate melt at, at 34. Great centigrade. Great. Huh? Great centigrade. This is just below. This is just below body temperature. This is just, just a little bit below. A little bit. It's, it's not saying too low. No, it is very close to body temperature. That's why. It was, it was around body. Correct. Around body. Yes. Next. Oh, no. This one, no. It's a need. Need. Ah, because in the first attempt, you selected yeah. liquor. Incorrect. Paste. Incorrect. So, it's need. Need. Correct. And the previous, previous one, let's check. This one. The beans are roasted for? 14 days. You and the first attempt? Incorrect. 15, 14 days. <laughs> On the second attempt? No, neither. Five days. So the option that 15 minutes. remains 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Does it say that in the reading? This says in the reading. Let's check. Preparing mm -hmm. the beans, uh, blah, blah, blah. blah. Um, they are then put out, blah, blah, blah. Ah, but it says. They are, they are then put out. The process for about 16 minutes in the preparation. Right, for approximately 14 days. Ah, all right, after, after this, this after is the part. This, after this, they are roast for about... 15 minutes. 15, imagine in roasting the beans for 15 days consecutively. No, <laughs> it is. Those are too many days for roasting the beans. In, I don't know, in, on the fire. Yes, it was only 15 minutes. Okay, nice. Uh, that was the answer, 15 minutes. And this one? Mm. Most cocoa beans... Are grown no. in, Ghana. in Ghana. <laughs> uh, that is in at Ghana. the beginning, I guess. I don't remember. Ah, uh, blah, 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 blah. Ecuador. Uh, 
first first grow in Ecuador. Ah, the first grown in Ecuador. Ecuador. Ah, but you selected Ecuador, right? In the previous, in number one, in attempt number one. So, West, oh, West East, Africa. West Africa. Okay. Hmm. West Africa. Okay. And this one, mm -hmm. correct. In the tropics. Yeah, in the, yeah, in the tropics. Okay, pretty good. Okay, guys, did you like the activity? Nice, right? Guys, yes, yes. You have you have the access to the to this pretty cool website. It's totally free. You can explore it. You have a skills, the skills to practice. You have listening exercises. You have reading. You have writing, speaking. Check vocabulary according with the level. Uh, business English, podcast, business magazines, videos. You can check videos on this website. Check a lot of information and material you can use to improve in your reading, writing, speaking, and listening skills. So you can explore it. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay, guys, let's see. Uh, what else? Ah, okay, this part. Answer the next questions. Ah, but we don't have time. Questions about the simple past, about verb to be in simple past. They were only uh, pictures. Check. What's? Was Lisa at the park? Yes. Do you see Lisa in the park yesterday? No, no right? No. No, she was. Next. What was the dog, dog happy? happy? Adopt happy? me, says the dog. <laughs> poor, poor no. little dog. <laughs> Adopt no me. Way. No, no right. Way. Any dog is not going to be happy in that situation. Okay, next. Where the, the elephant? The elephant. The elephant. At, the at the zoo. At the zoo. Mm -hmm. Yes, they were. Yes, they are. They are in the zoo already there. Okay, again, more pictures about simple past. Okay. Two links to practice. Check. Two links to practice simple past uh, topic that we've seen in class. Okay, that was it. Okay, guys. Thank you. Thank you very much for your participation and joining to the class. See you tomorrow. All right? No, tomorrow. See you on Monday. No. Not to, ah, okay. okay, you are ready, right? Okay, very good. Monday. Yeah, see you on Monday, guys. Enjoy the weekend. Okay, uh, enjoy yeah, it too. Enjoy it as much as you can. See you guys. Thank you. Bye, teacher. Bye bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Good, good night. night. See you guys. Good night. Good night. Take care. Bye.